Welcome to Seashorn Vlog and we are at Warwick Castle. We certainly are. It's been a couple of years since we were last here. Yeah it is. But this Ten is fries. on our way to Centre Parks which are the next couple of videos that you'll see after this one. Uh, we are here to check out War of the Roses. That looks good. It does? Yeah. Mm. Let's check out the castle a little bit. Here's the jester. Yeah, right, you mean the class clown? Yeah, that's you. There's the lady. There's the other lady. No peacocks yet though. Do the peacock dance. I don't know how to do it. You looking for your clan, Stuart? Cool. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. You found your clan. Got it. You found clan. <laughs> hey. What does it look like? No idea. Clan Coombs. What? Mm -hmm. Yeah, does it exist? I'm not sure. Sure, find out. Only Coombs. I don't know it is there, but with it's the incorrect spelling. It's with the E. There's no E. It's just, just an S. You're tall enough to be in there, Stu. A little bit too high for this time, right? A little bit too high. I can fit. You can fit, Holly, but Stu. I've only come from there, but I need to sit down already before I even climb these ones. Never mind that tower. Ice cream stand here. If I could get up the top, it's like, oh. You need a lift. A bit more than a lift. You're oh. further than me. Nah. All the basketball. Still happy with He's managing all right there. Yeah. You. What about Mr. Tall? He's on his way. Stay in low, try and move. <laughs> I'll get the defibrillator ready. <laughs> I've made it up to the top. Oh. It's the looking down bit and the fact that it's slanted fixes out. You alright there in the middle, Stu? <laughs> We're now heading to the Falconer's Quest. See the birds? Yeah, see the, the flappy flaps. <laughs> I forgot how, well I didn't forget how hilly it was, but it is hilly here. Oh, very much. Yeah. There's the Falconer's Quest. I got it wrong. It's the trebuchet that we're doing next. We missed the Falconer's Quest. We've got to catch the later one, so we're going to see the trebuchet. While we're waiting for the trebuchet, I popped to the fish and chips over there. I got chicken curry, nuggets and chips. A fish and chips there. And you got a beer, Caroline. Yes. How's the beer? It's, um... Drinkable. Drinkable, yeah. Yeah. And the Fanta. It's wet. It's actually twenty-five pound five pence. food was really good. £6.10 for the chicken and the chips, um, which was not bad at all. £9.10 for the fish and chips and the rest for the rest. I'd recommend that. And what did you think of the trebuchet, guys? Because I thought it was a bit of a letdown, if I'm honest. It was. Yes, it was a letdown. Yeah, all that build up and it just kind of flailed over a bit. Big and impressive up close though, this trebuchet. But we are now going to check out War of the Roses. Which side do you want to take, Caroline? The House of York or the House of Lancaster? Oh, you said York. York? York. 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 Are we going with uh, Maxine instead of Barry? <laughs> so we, who's your favourite, Maxine or Barry? 
Oh, Maxine all day. York Sorry, Barry, but I do love you. We're going for York. Turns out there was no space in York. They said uh, we weren't um, frugal enough. So we're in Lancashire instead uh, for the Lancastrians. Is it Lancastrians? Lancastrians, yeah. Sorry. We've got to cheer for those people instead, I'm not stupid. Unfortunately. Yeah. I know. Never mind. So we're rooting for the end. The Grand King, Henry VI, is losing his mind and losing control of his kingdom. And so, two great houses. House York! And House Lancaster! To seize the proud and... And all of you children, he could juggle you above his head and still ride his horse at a full gallop. Let me hear you cheer for your leader! Huzzah! House of Lancaster, are you as fearsome as these Yorkists? Huzzah! Yeah. Yeah, sir. You look as though you could cut your way through a murderous rabble. A sword in each hand, a dagger between your teeth. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. And you, madam, are you ready to swing your battle axe against all of the Yorkists or just the naughty ones? Oh, 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 oh. Excellent. For the honor of your houses. Cancel the show because it was thundering and lightning. This is very, very oh, frightening. Some there's some lightning. It's very, very frightening. <laughs> yes. So War of the Wars is finished. Yeah. Uh, the birds are cancelled. And I think this is going to be in for the rest of the day. Oh yeah. So we're going to head to the hotel now and get checked in. Get checked in. Yeah. And we'll show you around the hotel. Chicken. Well, we can get chicken if you want. <laughs> yeah. I'm a vegetarian. Huh? We'll get checked in and show you around. Yeah. And we've made it to our hotel for this evening on our way to Centre Parks and tomorrow the Charlecourt Pheasant Hotel and there's a bar in here as well It's quite quaint, it's like old farm buildings and then they've added on extra buildings for the for the hotel over there but we are in the cottages that's our parking space where that Peugeot is, it's not our car disabled parking space but no blue badge naughty naughty we're in room 21 that means i've got to park over the other side this is our room nice and cozy yeah little cottage big bed is the chair comfortable yeah yeah, yeah. and then we've got a desk there with tea and coffee making facilities a little wardrobe a little tv mitchell and brown never heard of it and then the accessible bathroom which it looks like this proper little cottagey I bet you this was like a proper cottage house probably at one point or like a, I don't know whether it was a what did they class it as a man like a little mansion house or something just, court just house cottage. or something we're in in this room Matt and Natalie are in the cottage on the end I've got an electric car so it's not I'm not bothered about actually parking in this space because I'm going to park over there where there are outdoor electrical outlets where I can charge the car for free. We had a nice time at Warwick Castle. Yeah, it was lovely until we got rained rain, upon. Until we got rained I off. am drenched in cold all the way through. Yeah, let's go and grab a drink at the bar. Can do. Yeah, we'll take you into the main hotel building and have a drink at the bar and the restaurant. <laughs> A 
beautiful morning outside beside the car park lake. Not bad room for 45 quid, that's all it cost us for last night. The shower was a little bit weak, the bed was as hard as concrete, but you can't complain for 45 quid. And the bar area was quite nice, so I sat there and had a couple of drinks last night and then we went and had some food in the restaurant next to the bar. I had a roast pork dinner and the other guys had some, some of their food as well, various starters and things, Stu had a main as well. And then we all had an early night because it was a really long day yesterday. Today, heading for breakfast in there, it's 12.50 I believe. And then we're going to start the drive to Centre Fox and we might stop at a couple of places so we'll bring you along with us. I went for the healthy option. Hash brown, sausage, bacon, scrambled egg and beans. Mm -mm. You are a beast. <laughs> Matt, you're a beast. Please come down for breakfast too. What is going on with this? Both. You can't have both. That's just greedy. Chris can. And we've made it to Bath. And there's the Abbey. And the Baths. We've been in, in the Baths and seen the Abbey before. We did a walking tour. We did. And I was trying to explain to Holly about the different layers from the different eras up until this point. If you want to check out that video, I'll pop a link down below. Yep. So I needed the toilet, so Sean found the nearest quickest pub and it really wasn't very accessible but we're having a libation thanks to Stu and Holly. You're filling up the space you've just made? Yep. Cheers. <laughs> I said I was having a libation. <laughs> it's, wet. it's wet. It's, it's Moretti so what more can I say? We're sat in the, this little bit of bath and we're going to go up the hill in a minute. See the um, semi-circle houses. Yeah well, we What's said... What's it called? Gotten. I, for I forgot what it's called. Crescent. The Crescent. Yes, the it's the crescent, Matt. It's the crescent. Crescent. Yeah. We should do the toot bus. Yeah, you literally hop on and hop off. Yeah. Found the Queen's Palace. Looks pretty from the front, but... Uh, the and there's Queen Square with the obelisk. We've made it to the Royal Crescent. One day we will look in the museum. Yeah? It's a hotel, isn't it, as well? No, just a museum. That I one, number one. I thought... One of them's a hotel. And that's the Bridgerton house, or one yeah. of the Bridgerton houses. Well, they use all of it for Bridgerton, but one of them's used for the Bridgerton house, yeah. which is that one, which is the museum. But I'm sure one anyway, of them's never a hotel. mind all the sighting. We need to go and get cookies. <laughs> you have the power to change things, guys. Pulteney Bridge. Beautiful, yeah. That white chocolate looked amazing, but you have to wait an hour for that. So I got lemon sherbet, sea salt, and dark chocolate, and put up a can. And I'm going to try the lemon. Ooh, that's quite tart. That noise is the air vents because it is hot in this car. That's the end of this vlog. We're heading. We've got about half an hour now to get to Centre Box. That's going to do it for Warwick Castle, the hotel, and Bath. Next one will be Centrebox. Keep making memories. Catch you later.